Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can build a directory or listing website using WordPress and only free resources. So we are going to go through all the main essential steps and if you follow them by the end of this tutorial, you'll end up with a beautiful listing website that you can even monetize as well. Now the solution that we are going to use today is one of the most comprehensive ones as it is fully customizable. For instance, you can create your own custom fields, your own categories, and even create your own attributes, which makes it very, very unique. And the possibilities are literally endless. So as a result, you can create any type of listing website using this solution. Now, as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, and for this, we are going to use HivePress.io. So as you can see, you can build marketplaces, directories, and classifies with WordPress. So they have a few themes, as I can see, here we have a few of them here all together, you know. So you have Expert Hive, Task Hive. So these ones are more for service marketplaces or freelance marketplace like Fiverr and so on. And then you have Rental Hive as well. This is for rental marketplace. You have Job Hive. This is for job board, obviously. And all of these I've covered already on my channel. So feel free to go and watch any of them if you wanted to build a website like maybe uh, Upwork or maybe Fiverr or Freelancer.com or any of those type of websites. But today we are going to focus on this one here, which is Listing Hive. And as you can see, this one is free. So let's discover this. So this one is a free multipurpose directory WordPress theme. So basically you can build any type of directory or listing website using this theme here and this theme comes complete it's a combo basically a bundle it comes with all the necessary plugins as well and because it is free you can download it immediately all you have to do is to click on this so let me open this in a new tab and as you can see this is going to bring you to the wordpress repo so this is the official wordpress.org website and you can either download it here or we can simply copy and paste the name here so copy and now we can go to our wordpress dashboard so let's install this together so as you can see, we start with a fresh WordPress installation. Now it's not mandatory, obviously, but I would highly recommend you do so. So let's install our theme. So we go to Appearance, Themes, Add New. And right here in the search box, paste that name, Listing Hive. And there it is. And as you can see, if you hover on top, you have an Install button here. So let's click on this to install it. And now we can activate it. Very good. So as you can see here on top, we have a warning message. This theme recommends the following plugin. So HivePress, so we need to install it now. So we click on begin installing plugin and let's click on install. And now we can go back to the plugin installer and now we need to activate it. So click activate and that's it. All done already. Now we can go back to our dashboard. Very good. And as you can see by the side, we have three additional tabs now. And these are the sections that we are going to use to customize our web project. So the first thing we can do is to install additional extensions if you wanted to extend the features of this project. So we go here to extensions and some of them are paid and some of them are free. So we're just going to install the free ones today, but feel free to use any of them. They're quite affordable. You know, they're only 39 US dollars for some of them. And you can turn this a project of yours into a booking system, a request. You can add memberships or turn this in a complete marketplace whichever you know so as you can see the prices are mentioned here and displayed so the ones we're going to install today are the free ones so as you can see here we have if you scroll down the page you have a favorite messages paid listing geolocation claim listing so all of these we're going to install now so these are free again but again some of them are paid versions so it depends on what type of project you're planning to build and which features you need so whichever way you want to go about it feel free to install any of these okay so to install any of them basically all we have to do is to click on the install button now we activate the plugin very good and now we go back to HivePress extensions and we do the same with the others and there you go as you can see i've installed all of these plugins now so they're all enabled and activated and now let's go to the next step so the next step is to import the demo content so that's going to make our life much easier because the demo content will be imported automatically and we can work from there so let's go ahead with this so for this we need to install an additional plugin so we click on add new and in the search box here look for one click demo and there it is. So this is the one that we need. So one click demo import from OCDI. So make sure this is the one, the exact same. And let's click install now. 
Very good. And now we need to activate it. And there you go. As you can see now, it is installed and activated as well. So if you go to appearance now, you will see an additional tab, import demo data. So let's click on this. And as you can glean from its name, one click demo will help us to download the complete demo in just one click. So there it is. As you can see, this is our demo here. And now what we need to do is to actually upload the demo content right here as an XML file. So for this, we have to go back to the HivePress.io website. So let's click on this. And as you can see, this is the landing page for the listing Hive theme. So now we're going to Docs, Knowledge Base. So uh, we can scroll down the page. So we're going to select here Listing Hive. As you can see, you have how to import Listing Hive demo content. And right here on top, we have a download link. So I'll click on this. And now save this on your hard drive. And now that we have our demo content, we can go back to our one click demo import feature, scroll down the page. And as you can see, this is the feature we need here. So we need to upload an XML file. So select a file. So the file we just downloaded is a zip file. So you can extract this. Basically, this is an archive. Okay. So let's extract all. And now we can access the demo folder here. Okay. And right in there, you have the content.xml. So open this. And now scroll down the page and then continue and import. And there you go. The import has started. As you can see, please sit tight while we import your content. Do not refresh the page or hit the back button. So just be patient. Let it run. It's going to take a few uh, seconds, uh, up to a minute. So I'm just going to pause the video now and I'll meet you guys again when it's completed. So there you go, guys. This took a bit less than a minute. Now, depending on how fast your internet connection, it could take a little bit longer. But as I said, just be patient and it will run its course. So let's have a quick look now in the front end. So if you right click here, visit site, open in a new tab. So there it is. As you can see, we have some content here. So that's not our home page. Let's click on home. Very good. And as you can see, it looks fantastic already. So all the information, all the content is already there. And all we have to do now is to basically tweak things around to fit our own requirements. Look at this, how beautiful it looks. So this is up and running now. So let's go ahead with our initial settings now. Okay, so for this, we go back to our WordPress dashboard and we go to settings and let's start from the general tab. So from here, make sure that you enter your site title. So this could be your company name or the name of your website. And right here, you can add a tagline as well. So for instance, with Mr. Web Reviews, but it could be anything else. So it's very important to select a proper tagline because this is the first thing that people will see if they find you on Google, obviously, you know. So I'll scroll down the page, make sure that your email address is correct right here because all your emails will go through and to that email address right here and then save changes. So next, we're going to set our home page. So we go to reading and right here, we're going to select static page and then select the home page. So select home. And for the blog post, select blog, click save changes. And now we're going to change the permalink. So this is basically how your URLs will be uh, displayed online. So just make sure you select post name. So as you can see here, it's going to be your domain name.com forward slash. And then if it's the about us page, it'll show about hyphen us. So it's easy on the eye and also very good for SEO purposes. Scroll down the page, save changes. And that's basically it for our initial settings. So we all set now and now we can start customizing our website. So let's quickly go back to our website. So let's scroll down the page. And as you can see, we have a few different categories. So here we have real estate services and for sale. So if I click on for sale on top, we have a specific image here for that category. But also by the side, we have different attributes here. So this one has condition and shipping included. OK. Now, if we go back here and we click on real estate again, we have a different image here in the background, but also a different set of attributes here. So this one has the, the amount for the rent. You have the type of property and also the square footage. So this is how this platform is fully customizable because you have different categories. You can have different sets of attributes and you can assign those attributes to specific categories as well. So this is how customizable and you can build basically any project using those features. So let's go ahead with this together now. So we go back to our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, if you go to the listing sections, so we have our listings here, categories and attributes. So let's go ahead with the categories first. And you can see here by the side, we have our three categories. So for sale, real estate and services. So let's create one together so you can see how this works. So let's create one, let's say even for motorbikes. Okay, so motorbikes. 
we have a slug here so this is up to you you can type something specific or you can just leave it as is it will be filled it automatically but usually it's the same name okay so motorbikes so is this a parent category yes or not so you can create categories and then a subcategory so you could have for sale for instance okay if you were to select this and then motorbike will be a subcategory of for sale okay so i'm just going to select none for now this will be a main category you can insert a description as well if you wanted to and then we can add our image so let's select an image here let's upload this together so let's select a file so let's click on this here i found one online for a motorbike and then click select image that's it basically now add category and as you can see now our category is right here on top so now we have an additional category on our website and let's check our home page now again so let's go back here listing websites very good and if we scroll down the page as you can see there it is motorbike and if you click on it there's nothing found obviously because we don't have any attributes yet and we don't have any listings created so let's go ahead with the next step so the next step is to take care of our attributes so let's go back here this time we go to attributes very good so right here as you can see you have the title and the category so we have square footage type and rent so these are assigned to real estate with warranty hourly rate and availability We're assigned to services and so on and so on so now we can create our own set of attributes for our motorcycle motorbike uh, categories okay so let's add new so let's call this one make so from here your visitors might be able to select for instance suzuki kawasaki and so on and so on okay so as you can see you have different uh, sections here of editing search and display and we have to fill them out step by step so as you can see this is editing so we have to put the name here make but be careful you cannot use capital letters only lower cases all together so just like this and what type of field is this going to be so as you can see you can select among all these different options so number uh, email select text area and so on so in our case here we're going to make this a multiple choice option so uh, in this case it'll be check boxes okay so you make you can make this field mandatory as well so if you this is the case tick this box and before we can add our attributes now we have to publish so let's publish first very good and now as you can see we have an additional button here in our section edit options and this is where we can add all these different makes so let's click edit options very good so you have to give it a name so these are basically all the makes so let's start with the first one so maybe suzuki okay add option we're gonna have kawasaki we'll have yamaha and perhaps harley davidson as well okay so add option and there you go as you can see they're all here now you can add as many as you need obviously now we can go back to our attributes we're gonna edit this one again make and now we can scroll down the page and add them to our selection here so as you can see make you can tick them all so this will be applied only to the motorbikes very important you know this does not apply to real estate services or for sale it's only for motorbikes and now we can scroll down the page and finish the configuration here so do you want this to be used in the front end to filter the content of your website so basically if we go back here let me show you very quickly we go back to our home page i'm just going to select real estate what does that mean well do you want this to display here by the side and people can use this as a filter so if this is the case you're going to enable this obviously you know so i'm going to display yes indexable yes is it sortable yes and then you need to select the type of uh, item that this is going to be in the front end so and again this is going to be a checkbox okay very good and now if you wanted to add an icon next to it you can do so as well so let's click on this and let's try maybe motorbike motorcycle there you go you have this one here so I'll click on that and now we have it all set up and ready to go so let's click update and now let's have a quick look in the front end so we go back here go back to our home page we're going to click on the motorbike and there you go as you can see by the side we have the filter option here and now we can filter our content by make so if i only want to see suzuki and kawasaki there you go i click filter and it's going to show me the content obviously we don't have any listing uploaded at the moment but if we had some they will display immediately right here now let's go back to our attributes 
Now, if you were to create more than one attribute per category, you can also reorder them. So you can organize them in a specific manner. So this one could be first, then don't forget to update. And then if you were to create more of them, you can basically have them laid out in the exact same way that you want them displayed. Now, not to waste anyone's time, I'm going to create a few different categories here. So let's have the engine size. We'll have the year as well. And there you go. As you can see, now we have make, year and size. So make is first, year second, and this size third. And they all link to motorbikes. So let's go back to our front end. So we go to motorbikes. Let's click on this. And there you go. As you can see, they're right here by the size and in the right order as well. So make, year, this is a drop down menu, and then the engine size as well. So next step is to take care of our geolocation. So as you can see, you can search by keyword, but also by location. Now to enable this in the backend, we need to fetch an API key from Google themselves. So we need to take care of this before we can upload our listings. And for this, we go straight to Google and you can look for Google Maps API key. And the first one should not be the one you click on. You know, it says developers.google.com. But again, I'll leave a link in the description below. So click on this now. And as you can see, a blue button here in the middle, you can dismiss this and click on go to credential pages. And then from here, perhaps like myself, you might have a few projects already existing. All we need to do now is just to create a new one all together. So create project and let's give it a name. So listing hive. OK, and then create. And from this screen, we're going to enable three different APIs. So we need places API. We need Maps, JavaScript API, and also Geocoding API, okay? So let's go ahead with this. So let's start with the very first one. So Places API, Enable. So the next one is Maps, JavaScript API. So click on the name here. Again, Enable. Very good. And finally, the last one is Geocoding API. So this is the one here. And again, Enable this. Perfect. So as you can see here, we have a quick overview of the three APIs that were activated. And now we can create our API key. So for this, we go to credentials. So create credentials. And this is an API key that we need. OK, so click on this. There you go. It's creating an API key. So this is done now. So let's close this. And now we need to restrict the key to our website. So we're going to click on the small pencil here. So click on edit API key. And we're going to make sure to change a few of those settings here. So you can rename this if you wanted to. So Let's say listing hive. OK, and now we need to add two different settings. So the first one is to restrict the application for HTTP refers, and then we will assign this to the different APIs. So first, let's stick on this one here and we're going to add two small lines right here. So we click on add an item. So we need to insert our domain name here, our URL. OK, so we can go back to our website and then we can select our main URL. So domain name.com. OK, so whatever it is. So don't select the HTTP or anything like this. It's just your domain name, basically. OK, so here two lines, as I said, you know, the first one is star dot your domain name dot com forward slash star. So that's the first one. So click done. Now let's add a second one. So the second one is star, no dot this time, control V, so uh, your domain name.com forward slash star and then done. So this is the way I set them up every time and it never failed me. It works each and every time. Now we need to restrict the key per API as well. So take this and now we're going to select the three APIs. So we uploaded, we enabled, sorry, uh, the geocoding API. We also had the places API. And we also had Maps JavaScript API and click OK. And now we can save. So click Save. And that's basically it. Our key has been created. And as you can see, we have a green tick mark, which means that we can now use it. So let's click on this. There we go. This is copied. And now we go back to our WordPress dashboard. We go to HivePress Settings, Integration. And right here, you can see you have the API key for Google Maps. Just paste it right there. OK, scroll down the page, save changes. And now let's put this to the test. So let's go back to our website here. So let's go to the home page and let's open one of those listings. So real estate, for instance. And if you scroll down the page, there you go. As you can see, we have the map here and it's displaying properly. So that means that it's working very good. 
store next step now we can create our own listing so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and as you can see we had our attributes created now we can go to listings so this is where all your ads will be listed obviously you have the title the name of the vendor the category and the date it was published so let's create a new one let's create a motorbike maybe a gsxr 1000 okay so let's click add new so let's give it a title so we said this would be a gsxr 1000 very good and we can type a description here okay so let's select our category so this would be a motorbike and let's scroll down the page so we have our settings here so you can select the vendor so normally if you're the one uploading it you're the admin so you can select your name right here and then you can mark it as verified and featured as well and you can also have an expiration date for this listing now we can select an image so let's go ahead with this so i found one here online with gsxr 1000 so let's open very good and now we have in the attribute section we have the location so now you can enter the location so you just start typing away so whatever address it is so i'm just going to type one two three and see what comes up so let's go with this one melrose street brooklyn new york sounds good very good so let's go back to the top and now we can publish very good and now that it is published as you can see we have all these attributes related to the motorbike section only that are now displaying so now we can select this so which model is it it is a suzuki which year is it let's say 2014 and what size engine we said it was a 1000 cc okay there you go and now we go back to the top click update and that's it all done already guys so now we can go to our front end and have a quick look okay so let's click on this back to home page so let's select our motorbike category as you can see we have one listing now so let's click on this and there it is so this is the ad we just created one two three melrose street motorbike gsxr 1000 added on the 21st of june 2022 okay so let's click on this now and there it is guys look how beautiful this looks very very nice indeed so you have the description here and all the the, the images so you can reply to the listing you can write a review you can claim this listing and report this listing as well if it was a scam for instance and obviously we have the location here with google maps and you can zoom in and zoom out so there you go very very practical indeed now everything here on this page can be customized and tweaked so you can enable some features disable some We've enabled them all here just for the demo here, obviously, you know, you can also add to favorite and so on and so on. So this is basically how you can create your listings, categories and also attributes. Now, let's take care of the rest of the customization of our website. So now let's take care of the vendor. So this is the other side of the website, obviously, because this is a marketplace. So you clearly have vendors as well selling their own products. So we go back to our website dashboard. And as you can see, we have our next section here, which is vendors. So let's click on this. And as you can see at the moment, there's only one. It's myself because I am the admin of the website. I was created automatically, you know. Now you can add as many vendors as you want. And again, here, this is the beauty of this system. You can even create different attributes. And just like with our listings, you can break them down into different attributes and also use them as a filter in the front end. So let's create a different attributes together here. So let's create a new one. So let's give it a title. So we said this would be the vendor type. So again, here you can put a name and let's say this is checkboxes again. OK, and now we can publish and we can add our terms. So edit options and now we can add our terms. So this could be, for instance, a private owner. We could have a reseller. Or we could have a shop owner. OK, let's see. There you go. So we could have those three different uh, attributes created. And now we can go back to our attributes and finish setting this up. So as you can see, vendor type here. So let's click on this. And now we can configure this in the front end. So do you want to display this in the front end as a filter? Yes, we want. And what type of filter? Let's say check boxes again. OK. And then if you want to add an icon, you can do so. And let's click update. So let's go back to our attributes. And this one is done now. And now we can create our vendors. So let's go ahead with this. We go to vendors, add new. So let's give this vendor a name. So perhaps John Doe. So as always, you could have a description here. So what type of vendor is he? Is he a private owner, reseller or shop owner? So let's say he is a shop owner. Okay. 
and then we can add an image as well so let's see what we have so let's say this is john doe okay and then we can scroll down the page and can you assign an account as well so at the moment we only have one so let's say this is uh, myself okay and you can also mark this vendor as verified so maybe you're going to run a background check make sure that it actually runs a shop etc etc in which case you can mark it as verified then after this all we have to do is click publish and that's just done if you go to the vendors now as you can see you have two of them already in the system and now that our vendors are created let's go back to our home page so as you can see here we have a tab that says listing so you can click on this but this one is not working it's not showing anything and how can you display the vendors is the same principle so we have to create two different pages now and then assign them to our menu section so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and this time we go to pages so again we're going to create two pages so let's create the first one so let's create the vendors and then we're going to create our listing so add new so let's give it a title so let's say vendors okay and then we can add our widget now so let's click on this we can insert the block sorry and then scroll down all the options and these are all the high press blocks as you can see so you can insert one so the one we need is the vendors here so let's click on this and there you go as you can see they're already displaying you have john Doe that we just created so now you can configure this the way you want you can select how many columns you want to display and how many in total you want to display on your page so let's say if we were to display three columns maybe you want to display 12 per page altogether, which would be an equal amount of three rows of four okay so let's click publish publish and now we can X out of this and let's create our second page now so the next one is called listings so let's give it a name listings okay again we're going to insert our block scroll down all the blocks here at the very bottom and there it is you have listing categories listing search and so on so the one we need is this one here so listings click on this and there you go as you can see now we have a listing displaying on our page and again you can define how many columns and how many you want to sort so let's say maybe 12 all together okay and then you can even select a specific category but let's leave it the way it is at the moment okay so let's click publish publish and let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and now we need to assign those two pages to our hivepress settings so we go back to hivepress settings and under the listings tabs you have the listing page and now we can select our listings this is the one okay scroll down the page click save and now we go to our vendors and we do the same okay we're going to select our page here right there so vendors and click save changes and now if you go back to our front end as you can see of listings and vendors so let's click on listings there it is and now we have vendors as well so as you can see, we have John Doe here displaying and also our filter here by the side. So private owner, reseller or shop owner. So we know that John Doe is a shop owner. So let's click on this and let's filter. And there you go. We only have John Doe. Now, if you were to look for reseller, let's click uh, filter. And there you go. There's no one because John Doe is the only shop owner in the database okay so now let me show you how you can customize your pages so for instance if you wanted to customize your home page if you wanted to add your logo change your menu section and also take care of our footer section here so let's start with this so let's start with the header section here maybe perhaps our logo and menu section okay so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and let's take care of our logo for this we go to appearance customize and we have the site identity or you can hover on top all the same you know so let's click on site identity we don't have a logo so select logo and from here you're going to select your logo so i uploaded one already so let me hide myself to show you the options here so click select and from here you can skip cropping or crop the image this is really up to you but we're going to skip this for now and as you can see clearly this is way too big obviously you know so we can change the size don't worry you know you can do it from here immediately so click on change logo again click on the image and as you can see you have edit image here so let's resize this together so as you can see the size of this logo is 1366 by 118 which is way too big you know so let's reduce that to maybe let's say 310 pixels let's click scale there you go now let's click update that's all that's done already now we can close this window and now as you can see our image has been resized to 310 by 27 so now we can select this one skip cropping again sorry hide myself skip cropping very good so this should work fine now okay so now we can click publish we can refresh you might have to refresh sometimes 
depending on how it works, you know. And as you can see, our logo has been resized now. So this is working absolutely fine. So this is our logo itself. Now we can close this and let's take care of our menu section. So for this, we go to appearance, menus, and make sure here that you select the header one. So this is your main menu section, okay? So click select. And as you can see here, some of them are in red and you can remove some of them altogether. So what we're going to do is just create a new menu altogether. So bulk select. And then as you can see here, we've removed selected items. Click on that. There you go. So all we need now is just to add our listings and vendors pages, which are here. So this, this, add to menu. And now we can reorganize them. So we're going to put the blog page last. There you go. And now you can click save menu. And there you go. As you can see, our header has been updated and everything is fine. So let's go back to our website. Let's click on our logo here. So as you can see, now we have our own logo displaying, but this is not our menu. This is not displaying properly. So what's happening here? Well, it's very easy. We need to assign this to the header. So we go back to our menu section here. And if we scroll down the page, as you can see, you can display the location, select which location. Okay. So this will display in the header. So it's very important that you take this box here. Okay. So save menu. And now if we go back to our front end, click on Mr. Web Reviews logo. And there you go. Home, listings, vendors, and blog. So this is displaying fantastically now. So let's take care of our footer section. And for this, let's scroll down to the bottom of our page. So as you can see at the moment, we have archives, categories. So how can you customize this? Well, very easily. We go back to our WordPress dashboard. And this time we're going to go to the widget section. And right here, you can see your site footer. If you expand this, you have two blocks. So on the first block right here, as you can see, it might sound like a bit of gibberish. This is HTML code and it's the same for this one. Now let's make it easy. You can add literally whatever you want. You can use your categories. You can use custom HTML or navigation menus all together. So you could delete this once all together, you know, delete. Do the same with this one, delete. And let's create two different sections ourselves. So if you wanted to add, for instance, some custom HTML, maybe some text or anything like this, we could do this very easily. So you have text here. So let's add this to our section so you can give it a title. So let's say contact details. And then here you can type your contact details. So let's say perhaps something like this. You could add your phone number, your email address, and then all you have to do is click save. And then we can even add if we also don't forget to click down here. Sorry. And then you can also add maybe a menu all together. So let's add a navigation menu together here. So let's add this one. So let's call this maybe quick links and then you can select the menu itself. Okay. So let's take the header one, the one we just created. So let's click save and now let's go back to our front page and now let's just refresh. Okay. So there you go. As you can see, now we have our contact details right here and quick links to our pages. So this is how easily you can customize your footer section. Now let's see how we can customize our home page. So basically we're going to add our own image here and maybe customize the whole content here. Add whatever we want. Okay. So very easily, I'm going to show you how you can customize this to make it your own. So again, we go back to our WordPress dashboard pages and let's locate our home page. So there it is. As you can see, this is the front page. Okay. So let's click on it. And straight up from here, as you can see, we're using Gutenberg page builder. You can basically add any block, tweak things around very easily by clicking on each item. So the first thing we notice is that there is no background image here. So let's set this up together. So how can you do so very easily? This is the featured image. Let's click on this. And as you can see, there is no featured images at the moment. So all you have to do is just click on it. And let's select an image. So I'm just going to select the one here with the motorbike. Okay. So set featured image. Let's click update very easily now just to show you this one. So let's refresh. And there it is. So this is how you can add your background image. Now let's tweak the message here, your tagline and the subheading. So basically here, all you have to do is just to click on this and you can type whatever you want now. So I'm just going to type listing with Mr. Web reviews. Okay. And then you can do the same with this one underneath. Okay. So if you scroll down the page, as you can see, if you click on this, this is basically the same blog as we had earlier on. So this is called the listing categories and you can define how many columns you want to display and how many you want to display in total. You can also select the parent categories and the sorting order. 
So all of this is easily customizable right here without any coding scales. If you scroll down the page, we have the same principle here. So this one is called recent listings. As you can see, this is our listings and you can uh, sort that by date added. So this is called recent listing because it's sorted by date added, but you can do that randomly as well or by title altogether. Now, if you wanted to change the title here instead of recent listing, again, you can type in whatever you want all together, okay? So this is basically how you can customize your page. Now, clearly you can add as many items, as many blocks as you want. Obviously, all you have to do is to click on the plus sign. You can add an additional paragraph, maybe a heading or even images or videos, you know? So feel free to create this basically to fit your own requirements and preferences. And once you're done, basically click update. And that's basically it. This is how you can customize your homepage. And now one more step is to make sure that your visitors can upload new listings. So let's click on this, add listing and let's add our details. So let's add a motorbike maybe. So this, this is the section motorbike. So let's select an image. So let's click on this one. So let's give it a title. So this is a test motorbike. Okay. The location I'm going to put 12 and let's select this one here, York street in Canada. And this is our description here. Okay. And let's submit the listing. There you go. As you can see, here it says it will be reviewed as soon as possible. So this is one of the features that you can enable on your website as well. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. We go to our listings. You can see you have a number one here, which means you have a new one. So let's click on this. And there it is. This is pending at the moment. OK, so what you need to do basically is to edit. And then if you click publish, basically it will be approved. OK, so let's click publish. And let's have a quick look here. So if you go back to the listings now and let's narrow this down by motorbikes filter. And there it is. There is our test motorbike. So it's gone live and it's online now because it's been approved. Now you can enable or disable those options uh, based on your own personal requirements. So if you go to high price here and then settings and right here at the bottom, we have all these options. As you can see, moderation, manually approve new listings. If you don't want this, untick that and then save. And that's basically it. You won't have to approve them. They'll go live immediately. Okay. So there you go, guys. This is how you can build a beautiful listing or directory website using custom attributes to fit your own personal preferences and your business model. So there you go, guys. That's all for now. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please consider giving us a thumbs up and don't forget to share this with all of your friends as well. Now, feel free to subscribe to our channel as well for more of these practical tips.